Mohammed, the investigator of freedom, brothers and sisters. Now, brothers and sisters, I've got a bad man as a, a, a you know, I've got some bad people coming up in the next few moments, okay, brothers and sisters. This brother, I go back on the front line with these brothers for so many years. Come on, big brother, brother, Bishop, you know your key. You know you are Don King. Um, and then Goma, Bishop, you are a beautiful brother. I've seen this brother working for years in various um, campaigns, always at our conscious meetings, always supporting brothers and sisters. And I'm gonna play some, before I bring this brother on, because he's doing some great works, that I tell you now, brothers and sisters, we support this brother and his work 100% on the Hidden Truth team. And um, I'm blessed to have the brother on with us tonight. But before I, 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 I go into this brother, let's have a look at what this brother's dealing with tonight. If I asked you for the name of this man, how many of you would not know his name, right? A face that became synonymous with evil um, to the point where even that odd little mustache is reminiscent of him, right? But if I asked you for his name, would you know it? I'll give you three seconds. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Sorry about this, brothers and sisters. This is going crazy today. Let's have a look. All right. I apologize for that, brothers and sisters, but this is going a bit crazy to this. Let me go back to what we started here. If I asked you for the name of this man, how many of you would not know his name, right? A face that became synonymous with evil um, to the point where even that odd little okay, mustache and sisters, is reminiscent of him, If you know him, who right? this man is, but if I ask put you this man's name, name in the chat, you know please it? talk to me. Because I know we all know about Hitler. Oh, Baba Kwaku, Kwaku, thank you so much for your support, King. Um, but if any of you know this man, just quickly put his name down. Because I know many of us don't know, have never heard or never seen this picture. But yet, this man, I ain't going to say nothing more, man. Charmaine Sim is that Charmaine Sergeant? Yes, the devil, the devil himself. Three seconds. Many of us don't know his name, and there's a reason for that. When you kill 10 million Africans, you aren't called Hitler. What you're looking at right here is a man looking at the hand and foot of his five-year-old. He was not able to meet his rubber quota for the day. And so the practice, um, many people got their hands cut off. I can't, I don't even know how to say that nicely. Many people got their hands chopped off. Um, he actually lost his daughter, right? So they unalived her, unalived his wife, ate both of them, and then gave him this um, as a reminder to meet his quota. Here is a picture of two men holding hands. Um, they are holding the hands of people, uh, they were their neighbors basically, because they were forced to chop them off. Evil and torture, uh, white supremacy, colonization knows no bounds. Um, imagine being forced to cut off the hand of your neighbor. Um, it got to the point where the quota was so high, right? And villagers knew that they could not meet that, so they would attack people in other villages to chop off their hands and give it to the soldiers to say, please don't kill us. They started, uh, soldiers started taking hands to their heads of states and it became a game almost. You know how people go hunting and they save the head and put it up on their wall? They would chop off the hands and deliver them to them. How long were we told that there was nothing in Africa? Think about it, when you're a kid um, and you don't finish your food, what do they say? There's starving kids in Africa, finish your food, right? Um, we're told this land is just devoid of civilization, there's nothing there, the people are savages, right? How is that possible if that's where civilization began? And I don't know about y'all, but I've never seen someone break into a house that's devoid of value. Why would you break in? And a, a country's most uh, valuable resource is its people. Africa as a continent, its most valuable resource, even though it has many, is its people. And I think it's a testament to us Brothers that we're still here. Brothers and sisters, what do you think about that? I'm blessed, and you, you'll understand why I showed you that little clip, brothers and sisters. I am blessed to have our brother Nagoma, Bishop. Are you with us, my king? Ever with you, my brother. Ever with you, how do you mean? Come on, my big brother. I'm not, brother. You know what? You know it's pure love between me and you, soldier. You know it's pure love, King. Tell Every them, time. 
tell them a little bit about yourself and why are you on the show tonight, King? Because I'm angry. Angry? <laughs> I'll tell you, man, angry doesn't even cut it. But anyway, here, what happened now? Um, I keep hearing this thing, this message, I'm getting this message all the time, unstable. And I don't really know if Babylon is talking about me or the system, but I know it's every time me and them buck up, something okay. goes down. But I'm not too worried about that because like yourself, I'm ready for them, ever ready for them. You know what I mean? Come on. It is what it is. All right. Listen, you've already done half the job and the, well, you've done about a quarter of the job and the other sister did introducing the piece did about a quarter of it as well. So I'm not got too much to say. I'm not going to say much about me because who know me, know me and who don't. They don't, you know, but I'm there doing what I do. All right. Why am I here today? I think you kind of summarize it. I represent a couple of groups currently. One is called Ethical Name Change, and a name like they say is what it says on a label. We're there about making sure that certain names that are unethical and don't respect us and don't treat us a certain way are, illiter are obliterated from our vocabulary and from our, from our spaces, okay? Now, cut into the chase. Some of you will know and some of you won't know, but they have a school in Halsden. In fact, it's a twin school, two schools in Halsden. And as we know, Halsden along with Brixton, and perhaps Hackney is seen as the center of all communities in this in this part of Babylon. Okay, yet they have the temerity to name two schools, right, which are in the borough which we predominate, Harlesden, in 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 the town of Harlesden, in the borough of Brent, a school called Leopold, two school called Leopolds, right, one of them in the heart of Harlesden and the other between Harlesden and Dollars Hill. Most of you will know it, right next to the Hindu temple, okay? Something they will never, ever, ever do. There's no way you're gonna, and also one of these schools is on a road named, just off a road named Leopold Road. Now, I don't wanna go into the history of Leopold because some of it's already been there and I will communicate most of it to you in another form. And you know that, buddy, you're helping us out in many, many different ways. And we will, we will that will manifest in a while. But um, one of the things that occurs to me is that you have a school, and there are many Leopolds in London, roads in London, you know, and you would have noticed there are no Hitler roads. There are no Thank Hitler you. roads. Thank you. Even though Hitler is, 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 is meant, I'm not going to say meant to, because death is wrong anyway it come, right? Hitler murdered six million plus Jewish people. Leopold did that. <laughs> oh, man, I don't even want to go into the, the amount of millions that he killed, right? But... It is a it is a um, it is a law. It's a criminal law in most parts of the world to deny the Jewish Holocaust. It is not no such law. Nothing like that exists with reference to ourselves. People can choose to call us what they want and do what they want. Why is that? Because some of the reasons you mentioned. I don't want to be down on us too much, and I know the time is limited. But teach, just teach us, man. We we have to start doing things. We're doing a lot of talking, and that's good. And it's not like none of us are doing anything, but more of us have to be doing something. There's a few of us, and and hail to the brother Kwaku who's there, and Kwaku is a member of the campaign, as he is a member of a lot of things that I'm involved in, and vice versa. And for the last two or three years, we've been campaigning, trying to get the name Leopold taken off of those schools in Halston, those schools which the majority of those pupils of which are our people, the last two headmistresses of which have been our people, the... um. The, the, the head of, of equalities in a bar is one of our people. These are the same people, and this is the same situation which caused things like the bridge park to be taken from us in how and went. Because I grew up in how and went, so I know went. You understand what I'm saying? But the point is, we've decided enough is enough. We've been campaigning trying to um trying to get the names off of those schools for the last three years. We've had oppositions, well, three and a half years. We've had oppositions from from um Brent Council at the highest level. We've had opposition from our own MP there, okay? And we don't, we, we don't know who the um who, who the, the, the member for Brent Central is, and she's one of our people. Still, we had problem there. We've had problem from um from we try to get the, the voice and support, but um I'm I'm not even gonna bother with that no more. You understand me, right? We try to get the um Brent um chronicle involved, but everywhere we go, we get an opposition. We wrote and we campaigned and we petitioned the, board, the, the school board of governors and they come up with all kind of nonsense like um, Leopold is not named after the, 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 um, the King of Belgium, which we know for a fact that it is, but we don't want to go down that road because that's a diversion. The reality of the matter is whether or not the schools or, or, or the road are named in honor of the butcher, and we know that they are, whether or not they are, it is a totally inappropriate name to have on any institution, much less an institution of learning, much less an institution of learning, which is 
geared towards our people and which our people populate for the last three or four generations. It is immoral and it is wrong and we cannot stand for it anymore. Cut a long story short, one of the things that we're doing, we're organizing a conference because we was out on the street in the snow, in the rain and everything. And if it's sunny like this, we'll be on the street same way. You understand me? We, but the problem is, one of the problems is that most of our people are blissfully unaware of the existence that this man have existed. And when we make them aware of it, some of them are even blasé. We've had people on, the, on, on, on our them as we walk along demonstrating and handing out flyers, we've had people say things like, well, what is the wrong of the name? You, you know, we went to that school, and so, you know, we have got lots of um, exp wonderful experiences there, and we don't think that it should be changed. This, you know, they, they've manipulated words and using words like, like um, culture cancel, everything to avoid, to stop us from doing what everybody else is doing. Stop us from being oppressed or people taking us for some kind of fools, you understand? What we're trying to do, and you'll know this, brother Mohammed. I'm getting, I'm getting even more angry as I speak. So I'm going to try and calm, brother, get try, calm, my, calm myself down. Right. One get of the things angry. that we're doing, because we need, we need the people to step up and help us deal with this, because there's about a dozen of us, and we cannot do it by ourselves. Because what they tend to do with us, when we get vexed, they tend to say, "It's all right. Let them show. Let them show. Then we'll soon stop. Then we'll soon stop. They can't keep it up forever." Right. There's only a few of them. We just wear them out and then they'll stop and we'll continue as they were. But if we all stand up together, we make sure they cannot do that. We want to organize a conference and have all of us in halls and whoever stake in this, which is all of us, and we decide collectively how we want to approach it. We have our ideas, but we want to have to hear other ideas. And whatever it is that we collectively decide to do, we want to ensure that there will come a point and a point not very soon right, where the name of that school will change. Now, what I will say to you is this. There has been some concessions made. One of the things that they've done, because when we said we wanted the name of the church, they said, well, you know, we have to ask the pupils. We said, but the pupils are seven and eight. We're going to ask them. You understand? But they decided they want to hold a poll. And as a result of this, and as a result of that, a decision has been taken to change the name of the school. They did not come, they did not, um, communicate that to us in any shape or form. We have no documents or no idea whether this has been verified or, or, um, or you know, when it will come into force or who ratified it. But what they've done is they've ensured that all of the, the energy, all of the, um, more, the, 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 the force that came from it, which is from us, it is put aside so that it's as if we never existed or we're not doing anything, you understand? One of the things that, we, that I've been discussing with yourself, brother Mohammed, and you know this, brother Andrew, and we decided against setting a time for the, um, for the conference because I think you wisely decided it would be better to have this discussion for us, see where we are, but at some point, we have to have a conference in the heart of our homeland in London, which is, which is Harlesden, and ensure that we, in, that we to get a debate and put out our arguments and and make sure that soon there will come a time where even if we can't get a name like the slave driver Winston off of of of, 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 of um, what's his name off of um off of the park Gladstone off of that park and all the other if people knew how many buildings and institutions and parks in London were named after enslavers right right from central London right through the entire borough we'd be frightened. But it's like we can't do nothing about it. It's like we cannot do anything about it. And it's not that we can't do anything about it. It's like we, some of us refuse to do anything about it. And when enough of us decide, you know, this can't happen. Like when six or seven years ago, we decided to say, you know what? This, this, this um, so-called exhibition of having black people um, put in, in, in cages and, 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 and put forward as an art exhibition, it can't happen. It was our own people, some of our own people who have sent all of them to a man and a woman got CBEs and MBIs and all kind of foolishness. It was them that were able, they were able to say, well, you know, it's not all of you think that way. These good people have a different perspective. You understand what I'm saying? You know where I'm going with that, yes, right? Yes. So all I want to say is that, um, I mean, I'm quite happy to, to contribute later on in the discussion, but right now I need to get a glass of water because I'm on fire with vexation, believe you me. We want that fire, King, we want that fire. Brothers right? and sisters, brothers and sisters, listen. This is our great brother. And um, what he's talking about there, you know, I worked at this school, yeah? Because as you know, many of you know, I work in schools up and down the country. And, um, you know, this is a school 
Okay, brothers and sisters, this is a school that literally is inhabited by our people. As you see there, the school there is in um, Halsden or in Brent. And when you go to the school, it's just black children, black children, black children, brothers and sisters. Yeah, the I mean, this is African and Caribbean children on another level. It's not just one or two that go there. The whole school is based on original people. And 99% of them would never have guessed that it was named after a killer of Africans. In fact, under the Berlin Conference, when they carved up Africa, they, they, they carved up the um, Africa and they gave it, they shared among six nations. But when it came, when it came to the Congo, brothers and sisters, they literally gave this country, I wanna, I'm gonna say this slowly, they gave this country to the personal gift of so-called King Leopold. That's right. It wasn't That's even right. given, to, it, was, it wasn't given to a country. That's right. It was given to him. So literally the whole country became his plantation. That's right. Understand this brothers and sisters. The same man you saw there, he killed double, if not three times the amount of people that what Hitler's killed in the Holocaust. And I hate it, Hitler. And what he done was wicked. That's but right. I've done three times the amount of Hitler. And now our children are going to his school. I'm asking you a question, brothers and sisters. I'm asking you a question because maybe, maybe we are wasting our time. Maybe we shouldn't be um, discussing things like this. You know, this is something I want you to tell me about. So brothers and sisters, just very quickly, very quickly, I'm going to launch a poll. I want you to let me no, Baba Andrew Mohammed, no, and the hidden truth. Should we be fighting this or should we say, no, you know what? It's not worth, you know, changing names. We could, we should be thinking about something different. So talk to me, brothers and sisters. Brother Bishop wants to know, are we, are, are, are we wasting our time? Should we continue sending our children to schools named by people who have murdered and killed us? Okay. And yet, yet is a part of our history. Let me know, brothers and sisters. Let me know. Take your time because I myself know what answer I will be giving, but it's not based on Brother Andrew Mohammed. I want to listen to my family, the Hidden Truth family. Should we be taking this on? And if you say yes, you've got my back. And if you say no, Brother Andrew, then okay, we'll walk away and we'll fight another fight. You know what I'm saying? But I don't want people to tell me the Brother Andrew's platform, The Hidden Truth, we just talk every week, but we don't really do nothing. We, we, you know, we just massage each other's ego and talk a lot of history and a lot of good things about black people, but we are not about changing real lives in real time. And that's why they attack this platform because this platform ain't just about talking. It's about saying, what are we gonna do about the changes that we're talking about? So brothers and sisters, it looks like to me, Brother uh, Ngoma. Okay, I'm gonna end. I'm gonna end the poll there, brother. And the results. I don't know if you can see the results, brother. But an overwhelming ninety nine percent said that they want to stand with you, brother. Yeah. Can yeah. I can I just say something quickly while you're there? Because yes. the ninety nine percent is great. There will always be the one percent. Don't worry about that, right? But just a couple of things very very quickly. It's worth noting, right? This man or this animal, this dog, this animal. animal was the person who the term crimes against humanity was coined for, you understand? And most significantly, this is something we want us to know and understand. The last two head teachers of that school have been our people. And this is not by accident, this is by design because people are put there so they can say, look, look, you are the only ones who have a problem with it. The people, the, those amongst you who are educated and decent and understand what's going on, they don't have that same perspective. And that will all, that's always been the case. They always put those who are liable to bow down before them in front as our spokespersons. And we have to take a stance against that at some point because it's what's destroying us. You understand? And that's, there will be those who don't like me for what I'm saying, but I have no care whether they like me or not. In fact, Anyway, let me leave it there because it's nice and decent people and I don't want to, um, you know.
we hear you loud and clear, my big brother, and we feel your passion. So, brother, um, we've got over 262 people. This is just laptops you can see on the count there. Um, we do, this, this program, we don't count um, I've, um, phones or tablets. We get the count for that after the show, brother. But we've got at least 265 people. 99% of them say they're with you now, brother. Um, so, brothers and sisters, we will be having discussions behind the scenes and we'll be letting you know how, when, and why the next steps need to be taken. But brothers and sisters, come on, man. Let's not leave this work for another generation to do. Let us be able to say in our generation that um, this is needed. Brothers and sisters, if you're feeling the passion of our brother here in Goma, okay, if you feel his passion, drop some ones in the trap flat room because this brother's been doing it with just a small handful of people. Can you imagine if we stood up in hundreds behind him if, and that hundreds would turn into thousands and then hundreds of thousands. I can see this and I know this. Drop some, drop some ones in the platform, brothers and sisters, if you're feeling our brother and if you want to give support in any way that we can. Because I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, when we got numbers, we change laws. Of course we do. Of course we do. And just to finish up now on my point, um, I'm going to communicate something that you can share as, uh, as and when you're ready. And it's, uh, um, it's ways of signing the, the petition and ways of supporting the campaign, but I'll allow you to communicate that to your people when and how you choose. So we will speak in, in due course. No, we're yes. going to do it, with it, brother. Don't worry, brother. Um, Sister Samira, Sister Samira, are you there? Are you, are you feeling this, sis? Greetings, Kings. I really am. I was actually going to pop some details in the chat so that everyone on the platform, hopefully you can see that we've got Brother Bishop's email address there. I can also put his Twitter so that we can always stay communicated in contact um, whilst we wait for the petition uh, link to actually be shared. Because as Brother Andrew said, and we all know, it's about moving in mass, moving with our feet as one voice, one body, so to speak. Um, so I'm very much looking forward to when um, that link is produced. Blessed, right. beloved, blessed. We have that. We'll communicate that in an orderly way, but I have that. It's just that I'm not as technologically advanced as you young people, so I'm struggling to get it onto that chat thing that you... That we Don't worry. So that's that's, that's, <laughs> that's, that's why we work together. That's yes, why it's mean. all about yes. teamwork. Teamwork yes. makes the dream work, and it's not this. a cute saying. I it's love, fact. I love this. You this can is, have, some, this is can have some technical support now, brother. So don't worry. you got the passion. We've got sisters like Samira and various other sisters and brothers who have the technology to make sure that now we can multiply your works, brother. Okay, so this is the undisputed truth, <laughs> the undeniable truth. One, 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 one thing I'm going to say to you, my big brother, mm -hmm. is that on the Hidden Truth platform, we don't play. When we're passionate about something, we change reality. So, brother, I'm telling you now, 99% of the platform is supporting you. Um, Samira, myself, and yourself will touch base. And we're, we're so Bob and Sister Samira's just put down the um the Andrew, you, you're telling me that like I don't know that like I don't know you're all yeah. over Hackney and Dawson everywhere. You understand? I'm not always up front, you know, but I'm always and everything that you do, I've been watching for a lot. I'm proud as anything, proud of you and your team and, and, and everybody that's there. So yes, feel sir. no way. I know yes, that it's done. Once you guys say it's going to be done, I know it will be done. So I will sleep tonight like a baby. Oh, I will sleep better than I've slept for a week. No heat, no no snow, no no cold shall keep Come me awake tonight. Team. Believe you. You're Believe you, me. I will tonight. sleep the sleep of the righteous tonight. All Come right. On. Chef Give Kevin. Most thanks, people. Chef Kevin. Chef Kevin. Yes, Chef King. Are you, there? are you listening to my brother? Oh, brother, I'm listening to the brother and I'm hearing him loud. I'm going, you don't remember me, brother, but I've done an event for you. You done some art award show a few years ago in I think it was Hackney, South Newington, somewhere like that. Years and years ago, I done the catering for you. Um, oh, listen, stop, stop, stop telling people that I don't remember you. Every right. time you see me, you tell me I don't remember you, and I all can right, never you know forget you. All right, the yeah, last no, two no, times no, no, was in no, no, HCVS, yeah, right, yeah. With, with with Christine and folks, right, and the food done off, and you went and you got your people to prepare and to get some extra food for us. So don't be telling me I don't remember you. Oh, my God, your memory good here, after. All right, sorry, and, brother. Every time <laughs> I see you, you tell me I don't remember you. It was you. All right, brother. Yo. Right. Double, double up. <laughs> oh, 
Big up Samira on Goma. Always love for you, King. Always you love. You know that. It's, it's, respect, it's, it's reciprocated. You don't know that. Kevin, yeah, Kevin, right. Kevin, Kevin we're going to bring you in in a, in a second. Okay, big brother. But I know I felt this, brother. And I know you would have felt him too. Brothers and sisters, some of you are asking, what's the email address for the school? I'm saying, don't shoot off any... See, any truth, people, I know you don't want to play around. You want to jump onto this. Don't send any emails yet, brothers and sisters. No, no, hold fire. Yeah, hold fire. fire. Hold hold fire. fire. I, I love you, my community. I love you, my community. Yeah. Hold fire. We will let you know what the next step is. So we're going to move as That's one right. army. That's okay? right. Don't, don't send no emails That's to the right. school yet. We will come back to you with a um a plan of action. Brother, brother and Goma, bless you up. Raise you up, my king. And, and brother, I must, I must say this to you, my king. I must, I must say, brother, you bring a smile onto my face the other day, my king. Let me show you why. Because I know, I know, I know this, this, this brother. My goodness, this brother is just a dapper dan. Watch him. Watch Rastafari. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Mr. Dapper Don. You see that? You see that? You see how the sisters quick to turn on their, their screens now? <laughs> No, no, no. Here, here what happened. Here what happened, right? True, true. I've been operating in Babylon for centuries, right? I have to have many, many, many dispositions because if they don't see me today and they see me tomorrow, they can't recognize it's the same person. You know, I cannot afford to make them watch me, right? Because 